This video is regarding a recent Tucson Police Department officer-involved shooting that occurred on West Philby Road and 6th Avenue. The Pima Regional Critical Incident Team, or PRCIT, consisting of 10 law enforcement agencies in Pima County, was activated to handle the criminal investigation of this incident, specifically the Pima County Sheriff's Department and the Oral Valley Police Department. This is standard practice so that agencies don't criminally investigate their own personnel. A separate but parallel administrative investigation is being conducted by the Tucson Police Department to determine if any policy violations occurred. Investigations involving officers' use of force can take a significant amount of time. Investigators are tasked with reviewing video, interviewing multiple witnesses, examining forensic evidence, and reviewing hundreds of pages of transcripts and reports. This video is based on information we know to be accurate at this time. Conclusions about whether the officer's actions were consistent with agency policy and the law will not be made until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. The material we are about to share may contain strong language as well as graphic images which may be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. On October 26, 2023, the Pima Regional Critical Incident Team was activated for a Tucson Police Department officer-involved shooting on West Bilby Road and 6th Avenue. Shortly before 9.30 p.m., officers from Operations Division South responded to the 100 block of West Bilby Road near 6th Avenue for a report of a male in crisis who was armed with a firearm. Here is part of the 911 call condensed for this video. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, I'm at West Bilby Road, and I would like to say something. My neighbor from across the street, which is, I think, maybe, she's over here in hysterics because I don't know, has had a mental breakdown. And I, for her, for me to be calling you right now is just unbelievable because she's lived there for 15, 20 years and never has ran across the street. Because I want you to try to put her on the phone if you're able to. Okay, hang on. No, I can't. I don't think she's going to get the phone. Because I kind of need to know what's going on and how we handle it. Huh? So I kind of need to know what's going on. Cause all we know okay, well, there's a problem across the street. Hysterical. I mean, I don't know if he, he's... he's uh, if he has a gun, I mean, we don't know. Did she? So what did she say? Word for word, what did she say to you guys? Word Hello? Hello? Is this? Hello? Is this? Yes. Okay. What's going on? I need somebody to come because he's threatening to kill himself. Okay. He Does has he have a, a weapon? Gun. He has a gun. Okay. And he's yes. back inside? He's inside the house, but he said he was going to do it. Was it in the He hand? had nothing to live for. Does he have He's it in not, his hand? I beg your pardon? Does he, did he have it in his hand? Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, he did. Started. And you're across the street? Uh, okay, we're running across the street. Okay, stay over there for now. He's back inside. Up in the air. He shot up in the air? Okay. Yes. So, my okay. brother and my son are Everyone go inside. Tell your son to come inside and your brother inside too. Okay. Right, he shot up in the air, and then what did he do? Gave my brother, my son, that white dog. Gave him the dog. dog. Did he go back yes. inside or no? I. I don't want you guys he's looking. He's inside now. He's going he inside, inside right now. Okay. Yeah, but I can see him. <gasps> what did he do? Okay. He's shooting. He's shooting. Okay. Uh, but I think I saw. Uh, I think a, a cop there. I guess. I think yep. that cop. Oh my god. Two shots. Okay. Three. As officers were on the way to the residence, they learned that the suspect had discharged his firearm in the air multiple times. Here's a video of the suspect shooting into the air prior to police arrival. Here's a video of the suspect's actions as police arrive on scene. The first officers arrived on scene and located the suspect in the front yard of a home. Before officers could establish communication with the suspect, he began firing multiple rounds. At that time, a TPD officer discharged his department issue rifle, striking the suspect. Here's body-worn camera video from the officer who fired his department-issued rifle. Let me step out. Hold on. Stop her. Keep staying in the car. He's 
Ya. Ya, bapak selalu. Hey, 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 stop, stop. One time, six one shots fired. Here's a video of the officer's body worn camera side by side with the surveillance video to show relevant information. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, move up slowly. Hey, 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 stop, stop. Once officers made sure the area was safe, they began rendering aid to the suspect using their individual first aid kits until the Tucson Fire Department arrived. TFD took over life-saving measures. Despite these efforts, the suspect was pronounced deceased at the scene. No officers or other community members were injured in this incident. The male suspect has been identified as 43-year-old Matthew Arthur Salinas. Here's a photo of the firearm that Mr. Salinas was holding at the time of the incident. The Tucson police officer who discharged his firearm has been identified as Joshua Camacho, an eight-year veteran with the Tucson Police Department. The Pima Regional Critical Incident Team continues to investigate this incident. When the investigation is complete, it will be presented to the Pima County Attorney's Office for review, which is standard practice for officer-involved shootings. Members of the public with information and or video of the incident are asked to contact the Pima County Sheriff's Department at 520-351-4900. This is still an active investigation. If you or someone you know is in crisis, counselors are available free of charge 24-7 at the Pima County Crisis Line. 520-622-6000.